Hello, we are on bearing 78 at a very interesting stage. We are in the middle of the process of installation of the sub interiors. So it's very open right now. You can see what is behind, what is behind the walls, behind the ceilings. We don't have a sub ceilings installed yet and you can see the amount of cables and piping uh, going in the ceiling, in the walls. And this is one of the, how to say, uh, smallest boat in our line. And you still see how complex it is. However, you can see clearly this, um, the insulation, thorough insulation throughout, and very sturdy sub interiors, which we attach the interiors to. And uh, we are actually in VIP cabin. Uh, within suite bathroom so you can see already um, all the piping including the, the the shower faucet everything is installed the piping comes first that's why it's really hard to change anything after it's started so everything should be in its place and better not to move it. All the cable traces are here. Uh, most of the cables are late, I think 95%, but the penetration are not sealed yet in case we need to run something else. So this, this boat is three staterooms plus crew. And uh, we have one hat which could be used as a, as a day hat. And this is also a hat for the guest cabin and uh, we're in companion way right now so and we go into the master the master will have a watertight door and just a, a normal wood door for daily use and the watertight door is designed to stay in this niche here and we use every space and here under the stairs we will have uh, a refrigerator and uh, I think it's a coffee machine here on top. It's small fridge and a coffee machine for the guests here. So we are in the master now. You can see all the cables are not finally run yet. So they're here in place. And uh, again, sub interiors are here. Flooring is here. Sub ceiling is not here. So it's very spacious room, it's full beam. It's got pretty much panoramic window on each side. And we have a walk-in closet, 78 foot, a nice size walk-in closet. And on another side, we have a head, which is very, very, very massive. So this is the shower cabin, the vanity here and a separate toilet with a door so I think it's a it's a proper proper hat for a much bigger boat and of course it looks smaller before we put everything in place and furniture but at this stage it's amusing to see the boat it's amusing to see how much running behind the interiors which we can see And now we're in the salon. Uh, you know, this is a further development of our bearing 70. And I already can feel how much bigger this boat. We added just uh, two feet of beam and five foot of length. And it changed, completely changed the ergonomics and everything. So it will be galley aft. So it's reason why it's so many cables there and everything, because it's a lot of equipment. And uh, pilot house forward, this is the petition of the pilot house it's going to be a massive tv here so it's it's viewable from all points of this salon and it's a very spacious pilot house with a nice settee which could be converted as a bed and um, tons of equipment but here you can see how high is the ceiling we using this ceiling we place the air conditioning units for the salon and for the pilot house up there so they all consolidated, very easy access. And uh, also some other equipment is located there. So it's gonna be a straight flat ceiling. And now we're in a pilot house. So it's 
very, very beginning stage. You can see everything, in, even installation, partially not finished. Tons of cables, but it's all going to take shape. So now we're getting to the crew quarters and lazarette space. You see how tall, how large this space, how deep this kegs. This kegs just continues forward. The engine is sitting down low, the shaft is going here, but it's all gonna be covered with flooring. And half of this space is occupied by crew, crew of two. And another half of the space is for the lazarette, for, for toys, for air compressor, for many, many other things. We have a lot of space on the swim platform. You see this rudder post? There is no rudder post yet, but they're going to be here. And some equipment, some steering equipment and shore power converters, uh, isolating transformers usually placed here. And some, of course, switchboards and everything. So all the major piping is already installed. Uh, by the way, this is just a drain line. You see it's a steel on the water. The water level is up here and then it's going uh, fiber, uh, fiberglass. <laughs> it's some sort of plastic, PVC plastic with the valve, which is required. Um, so it's, it's not your average hoses, which you use usually on boats of this size. So now we're in the engine room at the beginning stage. I'm standing at the place of the Sikipper. See how massive this base for Sikipper. It's most powerful equipment on this boat, the Sikipper, torque-wise. Uh, and it's reason why everything is welded in 10 millimeter steel with massive pads. So the engines are in place and they protect it with uh, this uh, plywood boxes. It's very important we put them at the beginning because then it's hard to move it in. Uh, but protection is very important. Also, generators are here. And the Sikipper is coming right here. And we try to install it at the last moment when it's possible. So you can see the sea chests right here. This good sea chest, one is enough, but we have it redundant with the valves in between and all the seawater supplied to the engine room and to this boat through these two sea chests. You see here is an unusual thing, it's a copper dub tank. Uh, we're doing this only on this model and this tank is an additional buffer between uh, living spaces and the engine room. So and we have a day tank here, left and right tanks, port side and starboard tanks. So it will be a lot of piping here, it will be a lot of much more equipment here. So it's, now it's kind of very spacious and very open. But believe me, after we install everything, it will be densely packed. Maybe a little bit too dense uh, that we wish. However, we want to give uh, more to living spaces and uh, we're trying to make elaborate work on the engine room to make sure that everything accessible, everything serviceable in a very compact package. You see this manifold, it's a fuel manifold and all the fuel lines are stainless steel lines. So I'm very glad that I could show you the boat at this stage. It's not common for the boat builders to show these stages of incomplete boat. It's a bit messy, it's always, you cannot avoid it during construction. We're trying and we're improving. However, you can see what's behind the surface.